teach you how to read the clock and tell the time. First, this is a clock. Now, I will tell you the details of the clock. First, there are two hands in the clock. A short hand and a long hand. The short hand indicates the hours and the long hand indicates minutes. Okay? Wondering what are these numbers? The numbers in the inner circle um, are the hours and the numbers in the outer circle are the minutes. Okay? Hours and minutes are units of time. Okay? So let's see an example. The hour hand is pointing at three and the minute hand is pointing at the top which means zero. So the time is three o'clock. Let's see another example. Okay. Now, the short hand is pointing at 8 and the long hand is pointing at 0. So, it's 8 o'clock. I hope you understood how to read the hours. Now, let's see how to read the minutes. The numbers in the outer circle represent minutes. It starts with zero and goes like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. The long hand starts from zero and takes a full rotation clockwise or left to right around the clock like this and if the minute hand takes a whole round the hour hand will go to the next number so that means 60 minutes equals to one hour okay now the hour hand is pointing at 8 and the minute hand is pointing at 10. So that means the time is 8.10. Okay? Great. Let's take another example. Do you know how to read this number? And wondering what these tiny lines are? These tiny lines are also minutes. Let's start from zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. So now you know what's the time. The minute hand points to 12. So that means the time is 8 12. Okay? Now let's see another example. Now the short hand points at 8 and the long hand points at 7. So that means the time is 8 7. Okay, have you understood how to tell time? Now, I will teach you a fancy method of how to tell time. Now, I'll introduce you to two new words, okay? Past and two. With these two words, we can tell the time. It has been Seven minutes has passed since eight o'clock. So instead of saying eight seven, we can say seven past eight. Seven minutes has passed eight o'clock. Okay? So it's seven past eight. Now let's see another example. It has been twenty minutes since eight o'clock. Okay? So that 
means instead of saying 8.20, we can say 20 past 8. This is interesting, right? Come on, let's, let's do another one. Now, assume the time is like this. In 10 minutes, it will be 9 o'clock. So, instead of saying 8.15, we can say 10 to 9. So, because there is 10 minutes to turn into 9 o'clock. Get it? Now, the hour hand is pointing to 10 and the minute hand is pointing to 40. So, let's see how we tell the time in a fancy way. So, there are 20 minutes to turn into 11 o'clock. Okay? So, we say 20 to 11. Okay? In this same method, adding, we'll add two more new words. Quarter and half. Okay, did you know there are four quarters in a clock? See? One, two, three, and four. Now, let's see how to use these two words. If it passes 50 minutes, it's one quarter. And if it passes one thirty minutes, it's a half. Okay? Let's assume this is the time. A quarter has passed one o'clock. So, instead of saying minutes, we can say quarter and half. So, we say quarter past one. Because a quarter has passed after one o'clock. Get it? Instead of saying one fifteen, we can say quarter past one. This is a good way, right? Let's see another example. Let's assume here. So, this time, half has been passed since 1 o'clock. Instead of 1.30, we can say half past 1, okay? Imagine it's in this way. There is a quarter to turn into 2 o'clock. So, Instead of saying minutes, we say quarter to two. Haha, <laughs> rhyming words.